Hey guys, Nick here from Nick's Taxes. Welcome back to another video. Today is some very good news for those waiting and expecting a CRB extension. The Senate has officially passed Bill C-30 late on Tuesday night, which means that the pandemic supports have been extended as per plan. So I'll provide you guys with some more updates as they come along. But this was the important one that I needed to uh, put out there today to let you guys know uh, that Bill C-30, that's the one with the Canadian budget as well as the pandemic supports, the extensions, the CRB extension, uh, including the CRB reduction, uh, has been passed by the Senate, which means that we should see an update to the Canada Recovery Benefit website very soon. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Uh, and if you haven't already, uh, please smash the like button. Just helps my channel grow, gets this video out there. Um, so yeah, please do that right now. Really would appreciate that. Uh, so let's talk a little bit more about the extension. Let's talk about what the Senate also has not passed because we've talked about that uh, in some earlier videos as well. And we'll take a look at the Canada Recovery Be Benefit website uh, to show you some updates that have happened in the last few days. Also a bit of housekeeping. Uh, there's been some spam happening on my uh, YouTube comment sections in previous videos. Uh, if you receive anything that looks like it's from Nick's taxes in the forms of a comment, uh, please double check that it's actually from me. Uh, there's people pretending to be me. They're using my uh, profile image uh, and they're using a name very similar to mine. Um, but they're asking you for basically to contact me. There's a WhatsApp page or a link or something regarding crypto. Um, that's not me. That is... Uh, a scam basically I've been trying to report them uh, but there's a lot of them basically uh, unless I tell you something on uh, this video regarding some sort of uh, membership or some sort of club or some sort of crypto stuff uh, be aware that's likely not me I won't reach out to you individually in the comments to to ask you to join something as well there's lots of people out there that look like they're real uh, people uh, and they'll make a claim about cryptocurrency or some sort of investing, investing with some per person, and it'll get a ton of likes and a ton of comments. And it's basically, if you look at the comments, it's a bunch of other people basically reaffirming that person's claim. And those are also uh, scams, so be aware of those. Uh, that's one way to tell if it's a scam, if it's got a ton of comments and everyone's basically uh, supporting that first comment. So I just want you guys to be aware of that, uh, you know, as the channel moves on, uh, don't get caught clicking on links. Um, if you're unsure, basically avoid it or double check um, by asking a question. But yeah, I won't be reaching out to you individually unless I specifically state something in these videos. Uh, I don't have any special or secret groups going on. That being said, in July, we are gonna start talking about cryptocurrency. So if that's of interest to you, uh, again, please consider subscribing. But I think as I start talking about crypto, we might see more and more bots and scams kind of being drawn to those videos because of the topic. Uh, so I wanna make you guys aware of that as we head into that sort of content. But anyway, uh, let's talk a little bit more about the Senate last Tuesday, or this Tuesday. So uh, the Senate is officially now on summer break. And so any bills that didn't get passed uh, by the Senate before Tuesday night um, are officially basically over with until further notice. Uh, so it was very important for the Senate to pass bills by Tuesday night. And so one of them obviously being Bill C-30. It passed Tuesday night. One of the reasons why is because they had received a what's called a pre-study uh, in which basically senators were able to assess the legislative proposals in general in advance to actually receiving the bill. While the bill did seem to get some criticism by some senators, uh, it did end up passing on Tuesday night, which is a great sign for Canadians who still need these pandemic supports. One of the other bills that we talked about in a previous video was Bill C-10, and that had to do with uh, basically the Canadian government censoring uh, what was put out there on different media platforms, especially uh, user-generated 
platforms such as your TikToks and your YouTubes. So we talked about that and obviously there was a lot of mixed reaction from you guys and from the entire country. And so the Senate did not pass that bill. There was major hesitation over that bill and for good reason in my opinion. And so since that hasn't passed since the summer, if it's going to get passed, it has to go through the entire process again. So it won't start back at the Senate. It'll start basically at step one and work its way through parliament. So most likely what's gonna happen is we'll see an election this fall and it likely will completely die off. So uh, whether you were for it or against it, it's good news or bad news depending on your view on that bill. But yeah, Bill C-10 did not pass. There was another one that also didn't pass as well. And you can look that up yourself. But uh, from this channel, Bill C-30 passed. Bill C-10 did not pass. So as far as I know as well, there wasn't any changes made to Bill C-30 regards to the pandemic supports. Uh, so what we've been talking about regarding the Canada Recovery Benefit, the amounts, the deductions that are gonna be coming, uh, the reductions that are going to be coming um, are still in place. And Canada's uh, CRB website, that's the one you go to to make your application, uh, was updated as of uh, June 28th. They actually uh, went ahead and made an adjustment before the bill was actually passed uh, to give you an extension of eligibility. So now if you go to the website, uh, the eligibility limit has been extended and it says there on the website for a total of 21 periods or 42 weeks between September 27th, 2020 and September 25th, 2021. So as you know, uh, based on the extension, you can get 21 weeks of the full CRB amount, which is $500 per week. So saying that it's been extended a total of 21 periods uh, does make sense based on what's been proposed. And then any periods that you apply for after, uh, that's when you would see the cut in the amount of CRB uh, that you would receive. And that cut uh, goes from $500 uh, down to $300 per week. So if you check out the website, um, it's been updated everywhere telling you that your eligibility uh, goes to 21 periods and saying that your eligibility ends after 21 periods or 42 weeks. Uh, so we'll wait until the CRB website is updated uh, to kind of show you what happens after these 21 periods and the amounts that you would receive after that. Um, it also should update basically saying uh, how much you'll receive if you apply now versus if you apply after that 21st period when the CRB reductions uh, come into um, reality. But for now, it's kind of like a little bit of a band-aid, an amendment to the page, basically to cover them uh, for another two weeks of CRB applications before they need to make any updates. But uh, we'll monitor that situation as it comes. If you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments below. Again, give this video a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. Um, and yeah, have yourself a great day, a great Canada Day weekend. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to try to spend part of Canada Day in the nation's capital, and I'll probably do a segment on Ottawa there. So looking forward to that, and I will see you guys in the next video. Of course, I'm Nick from Nick's Taxes. As always, happy taxing.